That much. I mean, I could say that. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharkness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends 20 year anniversary Hulk. Try and get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And this is pretty sweet hefty packaging over here i mean it's about the same size as the other figures as you can see right here i have a comparison shot uh, but this thing is really really hefty and i really dig this homage to the series one hulk which you can see right over here obviously very different looking figures though you can see a read on the back of the packaging as well as a product shot over there and not much one on the top or the bottom so let's get to it and slice this thing open and again this is hefty as hell it's so funny it's so heavy all right slicing down from the bottom to keep the package intact slice there oh, cutting through the action figure caca oh, yes oh i may have cut a little too close oh my goodness all right oh man this is looking pretty cool all right let's get him back on the rotating base <laughs> So spending some time with this figure and getting him back on the rotating base, I gotta say this Hulk figure so far has been quite a bit of fun. Anyway, we've got some cool accessories to look at, so let's get a closer look at those, and then we'll get a closer look at the figure. Now before we get to the accessories, you can see that we get the little backdrop stand right over here, paying homage to the comic that came with the series 1 Hulk, and you get that same uh, plaque or stand right over here with Marvel Legends engraved on it, and you can see the two pegs sticking up over there, or you could turn this around, and then get this propped up and this kind of resembles the original stand that came with the series one hulk i have part of it it's supposed to have a flat piece that comes out right over here but anyway you can see the original version right here and then we have the homage right over there so we do get quite a bit of accessories over here with this figure it does make me happy to get this mandroid head sculpt which we've seen before it's the same as the build a figure one uh now based off of images i found online this is i guess not an exact likeness from what i've seen from the images from the books but still i think this is close enough and who knows hasbro may re-release mandroid with the gold that would be pretty neat uh, but i really like the battle damage to it and you can see a little crack in the lens right over there a little bit of marbling in that gold plastic uh, what bothers me about it is that it's tough to get him to hold it you know fitting uh, this in one of the gripping hands is always tricky to do and i had to use some sticky tack to help with that and if you just wanted to see how this looks on the mandroid build a figure yeah and it doesn't really look so great uh but then yeah so you get the two open hands which have some nice paint detailing in them i mean we're seeing a lot of reused stuff with this figure we get the new heads of course which we'll look at in a moment but i really do like the paint shading throughout on this piece then you get the added base it's been a while since i've seen a base like this with a marvel legends figure and it just makes me really happy to see i dig this thing nice paint added to it right over there that's really cool they could have just made it one flat gray but they didn't so i really like how that pronounces the skull Sculpt. Then right here you can see these cracks and then you get three different pegs sticking up out of it and you get one right over there and yeah I really like the gamma blast kind of effect that you're seeing with this translucent plastic. Very very cool. I did have fun with this. <laughs> So I have to admit, I was pretty critical with this head sculpt when it was originally revealed, and I gotta say, now that I have this and the other head sculpt in hand, I like them. Uh, the pickle lip thing that I complained about before, it doesn't stand out to me nearly as much, it's really because of the eyes. The paint detail and the sculpt on this figure, it just looks so good. Like, when I hold this thing in person, I lock in around here on the face. This whole bottom lip, which, you know, while I do focus on it, it does stick out a lot to me, but I'm not bothered by it. I really like this head sculpt a lot more than I thought I was going to. That red in the eyes looks really good. The hair looks really good, too. I love the sculpt. Love that we have green in the hair as well. Uh, it does hinder articulation, which I'll get into more a little bit later on. That's the one downside with these two head sculpts. But I gotta say, man, I was critical at first, and now that I have them in hand, I do like both of them. Uh, looking at this one right over here, this is actually my favorite of the two. 
man, man, it looks really good to me. Uh, like when I hold this thing and if you want to look at it like this, it's going to look so weird to you. You're just like, how do you like that, Shardimus? That looks gross. And I'm not just trying to, you know, I don't know, some may say I'm trying to polish a turd, but I think this is anything but. It looks really dope. When you hold it in hand, your eyes kind of go towards this part and it all just kind of comes together. I love seeing the red in the eyes right over there. Looks mean as hell. And yeah, it just looks cooler than I thought it was going to look. And yeah, man, there's still some angles where I'm looking at this and I'm like, ooh, that does look weird. But it just doesn't look as weird to me when I'm holding it in person. If you have this in person... I want to know what you think about it. Share it with me. And if you don't have it in person, or if you don't have it in hand, I should say, because I really think your impression of the figure is going to change. Uh, for me, it did. You know, it may not for you. Now, one thing I don't like, kind of throws me off a little bit, is that you can see that we have a darker green right here for the head, and it transitions nicely into the neck. That's all consistent. But then it gets brighter right over here, and I just find that to be odd, because it's like most of the time light's coming down. I mean, it, I don't know, it just kind of throws me off a little bit, just the way the coloring is, but I, at the same time, I do like it. You can see the ribs right over here have darker green to them, and I like that we're seeing the darker green fading in and out. I prefer this paint job over the one that came with the 80 Years Hulk. It just looks better to me. Also, I like this head sculpt more than this one right here. This one actually looks like it has a lot less going on and I'm leaning more towards these head sculpts over here. Uh, I like it so much that I actually busted out Giant Man from the top shelf to get my original Avengers display going. Looks cool, huh? Uh huh? But anyway, these are the best pants that we've seen. Like, for instance, just comparing it to the 80 years, we don't get the white paint detail with the rips. So we do see that white paint detail with rips. You could also see purple detail, so you get more paint on the figure overall. I mean, none of these have had paint detail on the pants and on the body so i'm very happy to see that over here oh man they skipped out on the back right there what the hell oh, damn it asbro what are you doing to me oh, i'm throwing out the compliments and then it just cut it off right there so if we ever want to take a picture of the back of the figure you don't see that paint detail with the rips that is so funny dude Ah, I could have added some white paint over there. No, no. Ah, oh, man. But anyway, the feet look good. And for the most part, I still like that, but I didn't catch that till now. You get the peg holes still. And then I wanted to show off uh, this version right over here. This is the SDCC or PulseCon exclusive version. But there is paint detail over here and paint detail over here. So I was mistaken. Or no, they just added paint to the veins. There's no real shading going on. Yeah, so I was right. Uh -huh. So I'm skipping a thorough articulation segment. We were familiar with this body. Uh, still have the issue with the diaphragm joint turning side to side and not wanting to do that. And you can't move the arms forward. But yeah, the head will only look up that far. Comparing it uh, to the 80 years version, this one will look up more so. So I do like the range of movement over there more on the older figure. It's just the hair getting in the way. Now to measure out this 20 year anniversary Hulk figure, you can see that he is standing just a little over eight and a half inches tall. And then for a size comparison, I had to bring back the 80 years Hulk and here we have the PulseCon exclusive Hulk and these are our only three regular green hulks with this body mold and i gotta say man i'm leaning towards this one being my favorite i don't know maybe time will tell but i'm liking this one the most so far i don't know what do you guys think which one is your favorite out of the three i'd like to know let me know in the comment section below then here's the hasbro series 1 20th anniversary hulk figure next to the actual series 1 toy biz hulk figure and i think it was the series 2 hulk figure that had the bendy fingers right Kind of hard to imagine Toy Biz started with this in Series 1 and then a repaint already in Series 2. But anyway, uh, yeah, a much improved figure compared to this one for sure. I guess just to make the point once again that I can't have enough Hulk figures in my life, here is the new Hulk figure next to a couple of notable Toy Biz Hulk figures. We have the first appearance Hulk variant right there, and then there's the face-off two-pack Hulk. Hulk party, yeah! Hulk do party, Hulk smash. And here's the Hulk figure next to the Mandroid Build-A-Figure with the new Mandroid head on there. Looks weird. Then here's the 20-year anniversary Hulk figure next to the other 20-year anniversary figures. We have Iron Man and Captain America. Told you I took them off the shelf. Yep, I really enjoyed this Hulk figure and had to compare them all next to the original Avengers over here. Uh, well, technically Ant-Man was the original version of Hank Pym instead of Giant Man. But anyway, here's the Giant Man build a figure from Toy Biz. And then the rest, we have Hasbro figures with the Wasp. And we already saw the Iron Man cap. And then there's the 80 years Thor. Then here's the 20th anniversary Hulk next year. Average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. 
Oh, another Hulk figure. Huh. Luckily, you're not like that other Hulk that just comes around and punches me for no reason. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to this channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people that support this content via the Tron and membership. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've updated the list that you're seeing on the left. I will do so shortly, you guys. I haven't forgotten. But anyway, the figure over here actually impressed me. I wasn't really that excited about it. I liked the body mold, so I knew I was going to get it. I knew I was going to like it, but I didn't expect myself to like it as much as I do right now after having it in hand. Uh, my worries about the pickle lip thing just aren't there right now, man. I I'm stoked for the figure. I really like the effects that the figure comes with, or the accessories anyway. The new base with the whole gamma radiation uh, kind of popping out of the ground. I love that. Uh, it looks really good with my Avengers figures. It has a very classic look to me, so I'm really pleased with this thing, man. I know it's expensive. Everything's getting expensive now, but at least this comes with more stuff, and I'm kind of happy. I'm pretty happy with it, you know? I can't say that it's the very best figure for Hulk ever at this point in time, but I am liking it a lot right now. You know, I have to give these things time before I can give like my final conclusion. But at this point, at the price of around 44 bucks, I'm gonna give this 20 year anniversary Hulk figure a sun rating of. I love it. And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section below. Is this your favorite Marvel Legends Hulk? This might be my favorite Marvel Legends Hulk. Uh, I, I gotta give it time though. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you want to see a photo gallery of images and the latest Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. You can see uh, part of the... To get my whole original Defender... <laughs> Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.